Next up, we have the clam chowder pot pie. Uh, this is amazing. Like some of the best clam chowder you'll get in the city. Got a bit of the bread on there. Mmm. That's some damn good clam chowder. Welcome to the legendary Granville Island, and this is one of my favorite spots in the city because not only is it a cultural hub, a place of rich history and beautiful scenery, but for someone who's always hungry like me, it's a foodie mecca. Today, I'm gonna to give you a tour of the Granville Island Public Market, and we're gonna build a meal from the ground up, just going to the different vendors and seeing what they have to offer. And by the end, you're gonna see how your money can go a lot further instead of just going to the food court and blowing it all at one place. So to do that, we're gonna to have to head to the entrance of the public market. Okay, so we're outside of Granville Island Public Market. This is my favorite place to get food. Um, basically, when people come to Granville Island, they might go to the food court. Ooh. <laughs> Instead of going to the food court and just getting one thing, calling it a day, we're gonna go through the public market and just build our meal from scratch, just going to the different stands and stalls. They have so much to offer, so I wanna show you what it's about. Let's go. seafood city have tons of seafood options but the one thing I go for is they have this chopped octopus it was about four to five bucks depending on weight but you can see it's got scallions cilantro some soy sauce and um, I don't know what else he said in there oh sesame so this is really fresh octopus it's very delicious mm. it doesn't get much fresher than that look at that so this should be our first stop out of the food tour. We're gonna go out and get our dessert. So we're outside of Stewart's Baked Goods and they have a whole assortment of delicious baked goods and I come here almost every time and get their sticky bun. It is the most delicious thing in the world. Um, most people like to go to Lee's and Lee's is good too uh, if you want to get your sweet fix but for me it's the sticky bun. So I'm going to show you what that is because it is my favorite thing by far. second last stop is a place called Zara's Deli and I love this place because they have really fresh pastas but they also have really good salads uh, specifically one called the Capri salad uh, I get this also every time I come uh, so we're gonna get a bit of that added to our meal get a bit of health in our meal you know it's got to be healthy a bit hard to get a spot it's very hard to sit in Granville Island uh, but if you're persistent you will you will succeed and we were persistent so um, here's what I got we got the salmon or sorry we got the clam chowder pot pie this is my favorite I love this and I get it every time 
Uh, we also got this from uh, Zara's. Uh, very delicious Capri salad. Mm -hmm. and, and then finally just a sticky bun for dessert. And so we got this just by going around, going to the market and seeing what they had to offer. Did I pay a little bit more? Maybe. But still, it's delicious. Capri salad's a good first thing to have. It's light, you know, it's just cheese and tomatoes, and uh, but it's very fresh. Uh, gets you nice and appetized for the main meal. You don't need to overcomplicate it. It's simple and it's delicious. The key to this is not filling up too much on one place. It's just getting a little bit of everything. So next up we have the clam chowder pot pie. Uh, this is amazing. Like some of the best clam chowder you'll get in the city. They used to have um, like the symbol of what you were ordering. So they'd be like a clam baked in on the top. I guess they got rid of that for whatever reason. I thought it was pretty cool. And they also give you like a little salad, which they don't have anymore. But we don't need all that, right? We have this. So I'm gonna dig in. Look how crispy that, that is. Oh my God. Get a bit of the bread on there. Yeah. Mm. That's some damn good clam chowder. It's perfectly creamy. It's not too watery like how some clam chowders are. It's perfectly thick and delicious, full of clams. Mm. All you do, you rip off the side like this, and you dip that in. It's super delicious. Mm, I love it. So finally for dessert, we have the notorious sticky bun. Um, as I was saying, this is what I get at, like almost every single time. It's sticky, it's gooey, and it's delicious. Rip that part. These are my favorite kind where it's like a little hard, a little crusty. Um, those so I find are my favorite kind of sticky buns. Mm. <laughs> that is very good. That is very good. Look at the glaze on there. It's very sweet. But it's a good thing to have after all this delicious food. That's the perfect thing. Get the sticky bun. my Granville Island food tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, it's raining right now. Uh, it's usually a lot nicer, but unfortunately we couldn't get on a nice day. But if you like the content, hit that like and subscribe and I'll be back.